Hi guys. Um, today we're going to learn about the different units of measurement that we use in space. Um, this will be a pretty quick lesson, I think. Uh, so we use different units for measurements for different objects, and we do that in our everyday life here. Um, so I want you to think. Um, you got a little box there for a human, a mountain, and a bed bug there. Um, so what unit would you, if I asked you to measure how tall someone was, what unit would you use? So this says the units. Yeah, generally for heights of humans, we tend to use um, feet and inches. So I'm five foot eight, for example. Or a lot of times some people are starting to use centimeters now. So you'd give your height in centimeters. Uh, and that would be the metric way of doing it, right? Um, now, what about mountain heights? Anyone have any ideas about that? How, what would you measure? Um, yeah, usually meters would be how you would measure that and then the length of a bed bug bed bugs are very very small so you might choose to use millimeters for that um, there's other options here these are just some suggestions um, but the question though is why did you choose these different units um, and the answer is that they're easier to talk about So easier to talk about measurements when you use an appropriate measurement. So you can write this down here in your notes, or appropriate unit, I should say. So for example, if we're talking about our heights, um, you know, you might say that you are 162 centimeters. That's a lot easier than saying um, 1,620 millimeters, for example. Uh, so we tend to use numbers that are easy to use, easy to talk about. Okay, um, so we're going to go through, through some vocabulary here. So interplanetary distance. So we can break this apart here. Inter would be in between planet. Uh, so this is the in between planets distance. So we can define this as the distance between planets. Um, so here's uh, the sun, for example, here, and then we've got the planets in our solar system. And we talk about the distances between them. So these distances are so astronomical that they're measured in what's called astronomical units. So AUs. Um, remember that what is an EU, or sorry, Earth is used as the standard and is one AU. Um, so what is an AU? We can say it's the distance from the sun to the Earth. And I think we actually talked about this in the very first lesson for this unit. So distance from the sun to our planet Earth. Now one AU is going to be equal to 149,599,000 kilometers. So that's huge. Um, on this scale, Mars is 1.5 AU and Mercury is 0.39. So you've got a box now to draw a diagram in. Um, so we're just going to draw the sun here. You've got the sun there. Good. And then we had um, Earth. Planet Earth was sort of right in the middle. So that's Earth. And then we have to put Mercury in. Now Mercury is 0.39. Um, so you have to kind of think of a number line, right? So if we look here, this is this whole area here is one astronomical unit. So if Mercury is 0 0.39, um, 0.5 would be right in the middle there. So 0.39 is probably right around here. So I'm going to put Mercury in there. Now on the other side of that, Mars is 1.5. So if we can imagine this number line here, um, so this would be where 2 would be about. So 1.5 is probably going to be right around there. And Mars has a reddish appearance. Um, so this is going to be our Mars there. Um, so this is what you would sketch in there. So this would give the distances then of the different planets, the interplanetary distances in astronomical units. Okay, next we have interstellar. Um, so the word stellar, stars. Um, so this would be the distance between stars. 
Um, this is diagram here. You can see some stars on there. Now one more intergalactic. Galactic, these are galaxies, right? So the distance between galaxy, here's a diagram. This is kind of a crazy picture. I always find it's, um, it's hard to imagine, but this is us here, right? This is the Milky Way here. So that is our galaxy. There are a lot of other galaxies, so we are not the only galaxy out there. And so the intergalactic distances would of course be really huge. Um, so these distances, they're so huge, they're measured in what's known as light years. You can copy that down. So one light year is equal to the distance traveled by a photon of light in a vacuum in the course of one solar year. It's kind of, kind of a big definition there. Um, so we know that one light year is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the 13 kilometers. Um, and this way of writing it is called scientific notation. So scientific notation, and if we were to write it out in long form, I would have um, the number 12, and then I would have 12 zeros behind it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is a massive number, right? So that's how many kilometers an inter, uh, sorry, a gal, ugh. A light year is, which is how we measure our intergalactic distances. So the distance from our sun to the nearest star um, is 4.28 light years away. So that's quite far. Um, and that star is known as Alpha Centauri. You can write that in there. Okay. That's it for this lesson here. Um, there's three questions on your note sheets there. So what would an interstudent distance be and what would be the most appropriate unit? Number two, a star is estimated uh, by astronomers to be 570 AU, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can look at number three there. Place all the planets in order of increasing distance in astronomical units from the sun. Okay, uh, so you can answer those three questions uh, and we'll talk about them later. Great. Thanks, guys.